everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know and you guys today we're going to be playing with, reviewing, testing out the new Kylie Jenner palette X Jordan. That is right you guys, I did get this palette a few days ago in the mail and I know this actually came out like not too long ago but it's been a minute and um, I didn't get it the first time that it came out and there was a restock the other day so I went ahead and picked it up. This is my first Kylie palette. I've never used one of her palettes before. I've used her liquid lipsticks and I love them like the mattes and the velvets. I like the velvets a little bit more just because they're less drying but I do I just want to get into this. We're going to do a, a first impressions. I have not touched this, swatched this, anything. I've only looked at the shades. I haven't even seen it been used. I think I only watched one review video and it was a long time ago when it first came out. So we're going to get right into it. So if you would like to see the eye look that we're going to be doing in the first impression, then keep on watching. <laughs> First things first, when you get into this, I believe this palette was $48 when I got it. Actually, maybe not. Let me double check that. I tend to be wrong. <laughs> $45. It was $45. A few dollars off. So it's $45. And then looking at this packaging here, the packaging is literally adorable. Like, it's so cute. I love this packaging. And you guys, this is heavy. Like, it feels really, really nice. It feels super luxe. And I just think it's a really, really pretty packaging. Now, one thing I will say, I know about Kylie, but... and I believe that I've seen Jordan in like a lot of her pictures and stuff like that but I'm not entirely sure if I know who Jordan is I don't particularly like I know about these people but I don't follow them super super closely so uh, I'm assuming this is her best friend I think they're like best friends so we're gonna go ahead and jump into it it's adorable so opening this up the packaging on the front is this really pretty nude brown color and it has Kylie heart Jordan in this kind of like nude metallic foil it's really really pretty and then opening it up here this packaging is great the first the first impressions of the packaging is really nice it's really heavy it feels really luxe and it feels very expensive so here are what the shades look like it's actually really stunning I'm kind of in love this shade right here called marry me is so cute I can't decide if it's kind of like a silver like a silverish green or something like that it's really really pretty but uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump in I kind of want to mess with the purples today like I really do like, I kind of want to do, like, a cool-toned look with the purples over here. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't, messed with I haven't messed with purple in a minute. So, let's go ahead. I'll do a quick couple of swatches for you. Let's do... Ooh, that's creamy. I have not touched these, like, at all so far. So, this is my first time. Ooh, these feel super nice. Let's go in with a matte as well. You guys, that's so nice. All right, so this one is the... Oh, that's pretty. What was that one? Uh, Wild Love, I believe. That one's really pretty. And then this one is the matte shade, which is called Sister. Nice. And then this one is the Marry Me shade. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm super excited. Let me scoot you guys in and we will get started with the look. Now, as you guys know, I have already primed my eyes with the Bad Habit Primer. So we are, have that already done. So I'm going to go ahead and go into... I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. Let's go into Soulmate really quick right here. And we are going to put this in the crease area. We're going to go ahead and just start off with that. I'm taking a Morphe M505 brush and we're going to go ahead and get some of that. There's not too much kick up in the pan. It has like a tiny bit, but it's really not that bad at all. And then let's go ahead and put it into the crease. And I really, really wanted to mess with purple today, so that's what we gonna do. I worked out this morning, like, I mean, I try to work out. I don't work out as much as I should. Let me just say that right away. But I worked out this morning. I'm really happy that I did because it makes you feel really good, you know? It makes you feel like you did something good for yourself. I don't even know. And then uh, I've been having this issue to where I work, when I do end up working out, I work out before I take a, sh I work out after I take a shower. It's so dumb because I'm just like, oh, I'll take a shower and everything. And then I have the idea to work out. And I'm like, that's good for me. So I'll work out after I take a shower. And then I get all sweaty and junk. And I'm like, I don't want to take another shower. So 
I don't know, I'm trying to break that old habit, but you guys, this is blending out really nicely. I'm not mad at this shade at all. I keep going back into it just to get more product, but I don't think I even need to do that. I think it's kind of like a habit for me, but this is blending out really, really nicely. I'm very impressed with this. Yeah, that's really nice. It's really good. I like that a lot. So now we're going to keep it kind of simple here. Um, I know there is this really, really nice My Heart color right down here, and I do want to use that, but I think I'm going to use that on the bottom waterline compared to like on the top part of the eye because it is quite bold. But first, I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, Morphe M433 brush and we are going to go ahead and go into this really dark purple shade called Love You Bitch. <laughs> we're going to go into this one right here and we're going to put that on the outer part of the lid. I need to get one of those like color switch things, you know how when people use like the little spinny pot things like a color switch, I need to get one of those. And we're going to go ahead and go into this deep purple down here and we're going to go ahead and focus that right on the outer part of the eye. I really don't want to get it too far up because we don't want it because it is kind of similar to the lighter shade. It's just a darker purple. That didn't make any sense, but I don't want it to kind of like get muddy and like mix in with the lighter shade too much. And this is actually going on super nicely as well. We're going to keep it just like that here. And then I'm going to go in and just buff this out just a little bit cool 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 so now let's go ahead and this is like super easy it's kind of like an really easy makeup look but it's going on super nicely so it's not having it's not hard to do so next we're gonna go ahead and go into this wild love shade down here Ooh, it's actually kind of interesting I turned it in the light and it kind of has like a duochrome like a green to purple shift to it I don't know you won't be able to see that but it was so weird it was just in the light when I did it a minute ago is when I would did it I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and do that I we're not gonna cut the crease this time let's just go with it and not have to worry about that I have some of my Smashbox photo finish primer water right here and we're gonna go ahead and spritz the brush with this now, I don't know if this is a brush shade or a finger only shade we'll kind of figure it out and then i'm going to go ahead and pack this all over the lid all right and it went on really nicely i will say it is more of a finger shade uh I've got on the brush it didn't really pick up a lot of product and it wasn't easy to put down but on the finger pick it up on the finger it was a bit easier to pack on so now i'm going to go ahead and use my morphe m506 my little brush and i'm going to go into love you bitch and then we are going to go ahead and put that on the outer part of the eye on the bottom lash line and then let's go into my heart just a little bit on the inner part here and there we go you guys it's actually that's what we're gonna do for the eyes today it's kind of like this really nice like it's not gothic but it's really it's kind of darker and kind of like more mysterious kind of like grungy so I do like this a lot I'm gonna go ahead and apply my liner Right here is my Tardis Double Take Liner, right there. And then I'm going to apply my, let's do the Superhero It Mascara today. Or the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara that was backwards. <laughs> and then for lashes today, I'm going to be using my Lotus Lashes in the style 117. Right there, and here are what they look like. They are like really nice wispy lashes. I love lashes like this. So I'm going to go ahead and do all of that and I will come back to you for lipstick. And I'm back you guys. I did go ahead and do my other eye off camera as you can obviously see here. And then I did go ahead and apply lipstick today. Uh, for lipstick I'd use the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Echo Park. It's been a minute since I've used uh, this lip color but I do like it and I forgot how much I did. So I use that. now. So, the review on this palette, I think it's really, really good so far from what I've used in it. Now, I've only used the purple tones over on this side, but they didn't blend out super nicely, and I, I really no complaints when it comes to that. Um, the other part of the palette, I'll try later on, but this, it's a good one. It's really nice. I do like it a lot, actually. I think the palette itself is really, really nice. It feels very luxe. It's kind of expensive, you know, just in general, but... If you are someone that is looking for something like this, then I do not think that you would be disappointed in the slightest. But you guys, that is going to be the video for today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up that like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there. Again, my name is Kenzie. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.